Hi there, in this video we'll go through how to change screens on a Panel V800 using physical push buttons or switches. So you might be in a situation where you can't access a touchscreen, so how exactly can you cycle through screens without being able to touch it? Now, First of all we're going to have a look at the screen editor here over on the left. So we're using Connected Components Workbench or CCW which is what's used to configure the Panel V800 and create the displays. Let's go to screen two actually. So if we go on the toolbox in the top right and look at this here, forward one screen or back one screen. Now typically you'd use this on the touch screen, just press it and you'll cycle through the screens. But as in this situation, we don't have access to the touch screen, we're gonna to need to find an alternative. So as you can see here, there's nothing in connections as opposed to say a momentary push button where there are connections where you can assign tags to it. So now we see the problem. Let's delete this and go back to the ladder logic. Uh, so here is just some simple example ladder logic here and digital input zero and one are what my momentary switches are assigned to. So when input zero gets triggered according to the logic here we're going to add one to screen number and you're going to get screen number output there. When input one is triggered, we're going to get one taken away from screen number. And again, screen numbers output is here. So toggling between the switches mimics going backwards and forwards between the screens. Now to set this all up, you're going to have to go into your HMI tags. So here's your HMI tags here. So by default, this will open up, but what you want to do is go to your global connections like so. And as you can see, there's a system tag called current screen number. Now I've set screen number here as the source tag, which you saw earlier in the, in the ladder. And the source tag is what we write to. So the application then reads this value and changes the screen. The destination tag here, screen number one, it's just a name I've given it, is what the system value is written to and is used to mod monitor the current value of the system tag. Uh, so where did these tags, screen number, screen number one, come from? Well, if you want to map tags to HMI tags, they're going to have to be global variables. So if you go into global variables, there's a bunch of tags here, but I have screen number here and screen number one here and these are set as dints you can use something else like int if you want um, but that's because we're using integers to go through each numbers uh, as you can see here um, one two three you know integers and these correspond to these values here one two three now one thing you can do if we go back here, is set an initial value to screen number here as one, and then you will always have it as starting off as one here. Um, so what if you get to three? I mean, I've only got three screens here. What if you get to three um, and you want to go to screen four, but you want it to restart? So you could add some logic saying, okay, if screen number is four, then move a one back to screen number, then you can eff effectively just reset the cycle. So that's basically how it works, very simple. So let's go through a little demo on and show you what it's like live. So as you can see here, I'm already online with the Panel V800. You can see my switches here, input zero and input one. Now input zero is gonna add one to screen number, input one is going to take one from screen number. So if we toggle input zero, you can see it changing screens to the second screen. We'll do it again. And then that's screen three. Now toggle input one and it's cycling backwards. Cycle backwards and forwards using it. That's the end of the video. I hope that helped you out a lot. If you are facing this issue, and hope you have a nice day.